2027. What an atmosphere for an 11 a.m. kick. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And on the first play, fakes to the halfback and throws a little quick pass to Trace Bruckler, and Bruckler picks up eight yards. Ended up in Albuquerque. On second and two, he tosses it over to Bobby Wooden, and Wooden's got no chance with that Aggie speed. Aaron Hansford wraps him up for a loss of two. Measure up in the trenches. Just 25% on third down this year for New Mexico, and they're going to fall short here. Manny Logan Green makes the coach at the 33, but nice tackle by Deuce Harmon. It's fourth down. Mexico to a dangerous man standing back at his 25-yard line. Mr. All-Purpose Anias Smith. What a great punt. Anias fields it at the 19. He's got a seam. Watch out. He's tripped up in New Mexico territory at the 45-yard line. Mr. All-Purpose does it again. It's a return of 39 yards. To Kellen Mond two years ago. Started the season as the backup this year. Throws a completion inside the 30 to Chase Lane. First down, Aggies. When Calzada came in last week, Taylor, you could tell not only was he excited, maybe a little bit nervous, because that ball certainly was jumping out of his hand. The problem was too much velocity, a couple of misplaced throws. The game was moving faster for him than it needed to be. Definitely slowed down in the second half. Strong start here with the first completion. 16-yarder, he looked comfortable there. Spiller is tripped up at the 25-yard line, happened before the game started. Second and nine after Spiller got one, fake to him, and then they throw it out of the backfield inside the 10, five, touchdown, Devon Achain. Six yards for the sophomore. Just three minutes and 16 seconds into the game, and it's seven nothing Aggies. Well, we talked about how they needed to get in sync. Boy, it looks like that week of practice helped Zach Calzada get the ball to your playmakers. High probability completions, and already both backs are lethal for the Aggies. And a great start for the offense here today for AM. A&M. A-Chain was the Orange Bowl MVP for the way he ran the football. Now we see the way he can catch it as well. So Terry Wilson School in, in the good graces of everyone in Lexington. He's got a tall task today. It's a little sweep that goes to Luke Wysong, freshman from Rio Rancho, New Mexico. As we take a look at the season, it was Buddy Johnson last year. Maybe it's Hansford this year. Second and seven, Wilson throws, and it's out of the range from Manny Logan Green. It's third down. Colorado, you're looking at one of the better secondaries that you're going to find at the college level. Just precautionary with Miles. He did warm up on a third and seven. Straight ahead goes Bobby Cole, and he moves the chains up to the 36-yard line, the two. Terry surveys the field and throws into double coverage. Hansford right there with the intended receiver. Position, maybe the most violent player on this defense. It's Jace Taylor, the intended target, and look at this. Cole is swarmed by Michael Clemens and friends, the graduate from Garland, Texas, in the backfield. Harry Wilson in the New Mexico Lobo offense. Over the head of Manny Logan Green. Deuce Harmon in coverage down there, fourth down. It's downfield pass. Rodriguez to punt again. Nia Smith, big return last time. This one has more hang time, and he has to call for a fair catch. No offense. It's fundamental Man stuff. Those Mannings are everywhere right now. Calzada, clean pocket, wide open as the day is long. How about that, Damon? Demas, touchdown, 70 yards.
true freshman from Houston, Texas. It's the longest play of the season, the 70 yarder. So we have our first flag on the field. Today's referee is Wayne Winkler. Full speed. Now you see Davis taking the top off the of defense. It's closer to an NFL extra point after those penalties. Well, only three plays so far on offense, and two have resulted in touchdowns. Calzada to Demas, 14-0, Aggies. The complexion of it changes completely if they generated big plays. They didn't have that. They're not get that going a little bit this season. Level, maybe, at back into the season, we'll see. They've been dominant, though. Wilson keeps it himself, and taken out of the air by Tyree Johnson, senior from Washington, D.C., second down. Out of the Southeastern Conference. Wilson on second and 10, throws ahead, and it's caught by Trace Bruckler. He picks up four yards. It'll be third down. Draw play on their opening possession. Third and six from the 29-yard line, and Wilson keeps it himself. Saw him do a lot of this for the Wildcats. First down run. Only plays, but they trusted him on third down with the draw to convert. Wilson against his body, off the back foot, feeling some pressure from Tyree Johnson. They got even too comfortable with each other. Cole gets a couple on second down. And that's a blessed problem, right? The, the, if anything, it's, hey, guys, we got that element of it. But you see the Lobos going tempo. Third and seven, Wilson trying to find some space, and he can't get through that initial pursuit up to the 42-yard line as Leal, the aforementioned defensive tackle, makes the stop. It's fourth and five, and Rodriguez back to Smith at the 15, makes the first man miss, and then loses his footing and gets to the... 19. Despite the 70 yarder to Demas. First down, he tosses it over to Spiller, and Spiller looking for running room. He gets a yard, and while Calzada's out there on the field, Haynes King, after the surgery, feels like an extra coach down there, Alyssa. Yeah, he's definitely helping his offense, and, and you talk about leadership. Haynes King has demonstrated that certainly throughout practice. Jimbo Fisher said he's been on the cart helping coach up the quarterbacks. He was doing the same thing in warm-ups, and he was celebrating as much as he could on the sideline with his uh, with his leg in that boot and on that scooter. I will also say I've never seen some D linemen run as fast as they did on that last bomb of a touchdown by Texas A&M. Team-wide celebration on second and eight. Nice ball to Chase Lane. And Calzada throws a fastball. It'll be third and, and short. Oh, they give him the first down. Pass. How twitchy of an athlete he is. Guy's explosive. He's got some top-end speed. They're eager to get him back. Calzada, just a little too much juice on that ball to Anaya Smith. It's second down. That Has to help out his quarterback on that throw. Second and 10, Calzada facing some pressure. And because of it, he throws wide Demond Demas in protection. Again, the All-American Kenyon Green is at right guard with Blake Trainer at right tackle. And Calzada's got pressure again, and he throws it close to the first down marker to Jalen Weidemeyer. It's going to be about a yard shy. Play of game, kicking team. Five-yard penalty, still fourth down. Jimbo Fisher in his 12th year as a college football head coach with 111 wins, fourth year at a and It's interesting, the Aggies haven't had a 3-0 start stench in any of his previous three seasons. First punt for Nick Constantinou. It's a good one that goes over the head of Manny Logan Green, and it'll be downed at the five. 61 yards for the sophomore from Australia. Never played for Oregon, but was there for was there briefly. Aaron Dumas, look at that hole through the middle of the Aggie defense, giving the Lobos some cushion after a 16-yard run for the freshman. Foul snap. 
Wilson has plenty of time, throws into traffic, bounces off one guy, and it's caught by Manny Logan Green. No, they say they say he's out of bounds. Bounds before touching the football. Make that completion. Another big hole for Dumas. And he's out to the 34-yard line. Come on. Occupying the defensive line. Wilson fakes the toss and throws out of bounds, second down. Dumas is already two big runs for him in the game. And he gets the handoff again, and Aggies are in the backfield with him. Leal first to him. It's a loss. A penetration right now. The negative yardage plays. We saw Danny Gonzalez, the head coach, on the sideline. Wilson on a QB run, doesn't have much place to go. Donnell Harris helped make the tackle. It'll be another Lobo punt. Time the Aggie defense more than prepared for the Q run. Already the fourth punt of the first quarter. And Smith, he does pick it up at the last minute and puts it into Lobo territory and takes it to the house. There is a flag down. He caught the Lobo punt team napping and decided to field it. During the return, holding receiving team number seven. Ten yard penalty from the spot on the foul. First down. And a ton of starting experience. Shane hits the hole hard. The guy can fly. And he's inside the 30, down to the 25. Most of you know he's a two-sport star here in College Station, an all-American track runner in the 100 meters, the 200 meters, and the 4 by 100. You see the speed here. It's on a good job, too, by the right side of the offensive front. We talk about the undersized blocking, undersized, rather, defensive front. Good job by the receivers. If you want explosive plays in the run game, your receivers have to step up. Offensive line's been spoken about a lot. Receivers have to do their job as well. He chain had no place to go this time. Three Lobos tackle him. Langston Murray was the one that got the pressure, and Sire Riley wrapped him up. Great job by Murray. Getting upfield almost immediately. And as you mentioned, you know, A chain, when you got your back throwing moves, in his own offensive backfield, not ideal. That time, you know, it's just a zone blocking to the left. Number 74, Ogumbi, a, a tough time. It's the motion, the movement that they play with along the Lobo defensive front. Calzada gets it off, last play of the quarter, and he's gonna go down again. It's Justin Harris with the sack, the former Baylor Bear. This, this is the end of the first quarter. The Aggies look great to start the game with a couple of touchdown passes. Night with those two in a rowdy Kroger Field in Lexington. Here, 14 nothing to start the second quarter, and A&M looked so good the first couple of times they had the football. Not so much on that drive. Calzada wide of Weidermeyer, fourth down. Fourth down. You've got an opportunity to hit and a receiver that's running open. You've got to put the ball on. Constantino, 61-yarder last time, and again pins the Lobos inside their 10-yard line. Inspired ball, and you know, a new guy, a quarterback, and K.J. Jefferson. And boy, he played well a week ago, along with the defense. It really set the tone in that game. It's Terry Wilson inside his own 10. Uh-oh, gets it off, but... Michael Clemens was running right at him. Two on two, third down. Wilson's just one for his last eight. Good ball and nice move after the catch by Zarek Struggs. And they give him the first down. First one to kind of half roll out to deliver the football downfield. Can they keep the drive going? That's been the problem so far. Option toss to Dumas, and he gets leveled after a pickup of three. Colorado, nine tackles, been out on the field a lot already. I think it's the 26th snap for the Aggie defense. In trouble, and down he goes, Tyree Johnson. 
beat the left tackle for the sack. We talked about what New Mexico was trying to do. Some of the play action, because they know they could not hold up in protection repeatedly. That time, Cade third and 10 plus for Terry Wilson. Just too much pressure, nobody open down the field, fourth down. That can get something going. Rodriguez from his one, barely got it off, and Smith calls for the fair catch at the 40. It's a 44-yard punt. Aggies have the football. No question they have Alyssa with two touchdown passes by Calzada to start the game, and he throws a good ball to Lane, but he can't make the catch. Dante Martin. Calzada, who's hit some nice throws in this game. Hey chain out of the backfield, hands it to Spiller. Haven't seen him do much yet. First down run for the junior from Spring, Texas. That was created by the backfield action of A chain. Spiller looking for blocks from A chain, can't get them, and he loses yardage this time. Jarek Reed on the tackle for loss. Spiller to get downhill. Spiller could pass Johnny Manziel in the all time Aggie rushing ranks today. Calzada throws a home run ball and it's incomplete. He's looking for Demas, but covered up by Patrick Peake. Are they bluffing? Because they just showed pressure. Nice strike. First down to Lane, making up for the drop. Well, dummy cadence that time for a and you know, Sometimes that's just enough. You got a true freshman at center. Protection holds up. Just kind of sits down right there. And the inside defender to get run off by the route right up the hash mark. Nice conversion. 18 yards for Lane. Quick throw to Anaya Smith. This is what he does such a great job of. When nothing should happen, he turns it into something. Break broke two tackles there. To a ball carrier. Runs like a running back. Two split backfield, two back set for AM. Spiller in trouble. And it's third down. Jake Seltenstall on the tackle. What's going on with the Aggies up front? Still out with a shoulder injury. Bryce Foster, the true freshman, snaps it back to Calzada. On third and five, another bullet for a first down inside the 20. That's Anaya Smith putting the Aggies in the red zone. Just right, in sync with his quarterback. Aggies have struggled in the red zone so far this season. In trouble, Calzada didn't see Joey Noble coming, and he's sacked back at the 24. Defensive holding. Holding, defense number 14. After this is to the goal, we play first down. It's the first New Mexico penalty, and it's a big one. That's part of the reason why Calzada had nowhere to go with this football, but you can see Green giving up that pressure once again. Joey Noble able to get it to the backfield. First and just a couple. Aggies have had three empty red zone possessions so far this season. Spiller gets down to the six in the game. And A-Chain is hit in the backfield. Joey Noble again. Third down. And looks like that'll be enough to move it down to the five yard line. As Spiller. For care. Spiller. Makes a man miss. Touchdown, Aggies. Up a little bit earlier in that drive and rally. Wasn't always pretty, but 12 plays, 60 yards in five minutes and 51 seconds. And now Jimbo Fisher gives Mr. Calzada a talking to up three scores. For football. So much respect for all these Aggie fans. The home of the 12th man is rocking on an early Saturday kick of eligibility. 19 and 8 is the starting quarterback with the Cats. Bobby Cole gets a couple at second down. He can fix things after the fact with his athleticism and ability to run. 
good ball in stride finding Logan Green who's up past the 30 to 31 in conversion passing. Wilson held on to it too long and Michael Clemens made him pay. Leal in there too. We knew this was going to be a struggle. There's only going to be so many drop back attempts by New Mexico here today. They tried it here. Clemens wins almost right now. I got you a little treat. My favorite play by play guy. <laughs> Nia Smith from the 37 yard line. Did he go down? I think he stayed on his feet. I think Anaya Smith hurdling Lobos is tackled at the 13 yard line. The last time he did it on purpose. This time, does his right elbow make any contact? We've established it as down as. Terry Walters, today's replay official, got this right. He overturned the, car, the call on the field because Anaya Smith's elbow did make contact with the grass. But then Smith does go into the tent. Spiller in the backfield with Spiller going out of the backfield and is batted down by Tavian Combs. Calzada trying. Second and 10 all day to throw, and it's a completion up to Moose Muhammad for his first career catch. Let's go to the studio and Peter Burns. Charlotte, North Carolina, his dad, who's in all pro in the NFL, has got to be going crazy right now. Calzada takes pressure and delivers the ball to Weidemeyer inside the 30, down to the 26-yard line. And another play action. And once again, Calzada throwing under duress, but he finds one of his favorite targets, and why wouldn't he be? Jalen Weidermeyer times. He's spending a lot of time in the Aggie offensive backfield. 21 more for Weidermeyer, and just a couple for A-Chain out of the backfield. Didn't count due to COVID. They have high hopes for him, and Jimbo Fisher said that he had his best week of practice this week. Chase Lane doesn't get much as Marks to throw the football. They're looking for their perimeter players to generate more opportunities. Pump thinking is Calzada and then Weidermeyer made that catch with Patrick Peak all over him. Fifth all time in school history with career points. This is from 36 yards and he makes it 24 to nothing. In just a moment, it's time to eat the home of the 12th man on a 24-0 lead, and it's time to eat. No, I got into it first, pal. I knew the, you do the talking on the oh. Special shout-out to uh, Ritha and Vic Valero, the second for providing today's meal, original founders of Top of the Hill Greasy Burgers. Under the second floor. The live performance of the Fighting Texas Aggie Band on SEC Network Plus. You can start streaming now on the ESPN app. New Mexico, this half, offensively, maybe try to get Terry Wilson a few more touches as a rusher. Coming out is A-Chain from the goal line. Past the 35 and up to the 38-yard line. Alyssa caught up with New Mexico. Field position that has been seeded in special teams really putting the Lobo defense behind the eight ball. Calzada go back to the air to start the second half, and it's a good ball inside the 40. Look at Demas put his foot in the dirt and get down near the 30-yard line. We saw it early in the first quarter. Did you see him just kind of sit down? Looks like he was trying to sell the post. He sits down, squats, comes right back out throughout this contest. Two catches for Demas. First two of his career, and they go over to Lane. That's incomplete. That tibia injury for at least a month. And a chain. We'll get a couple. We mentioned that injury. Out there, intended start starter quarterback. Made the offense flinch. Mexico. Offside. 
Defense number 95 jumped in the neutral zone across the offensive play for the Ag. Not your penalty. First down. Correction. Correction. Still third down. Off his right leg. Two screws inserted in that right leg this week. They say the surgery went extremely well. Because Calzada way over the head of Weidemeyer. Fourth down. He gets some immediate coaching from Jimbo Fisher. You see that that ball sailed on him. Connor Choate, the 12th man, will snap it back. And Seth Small from 44 squeezes it in there. 27-0 Aggies. One of the top scorers in the history of College Station. Coach then is now Georgia's special teams coach, Will Muschamp. Yards deep in his own end zone. He's on his feet out near the 29 yard line. It's Saturday. Even Auburn getting in on it, wearing their all whites with white face masks. Even. Luke Weissong on a sweep gets up to the 34 yard line. Seeing that cut on hand here at College Station. Terry Wilson drifts back and just throws it to the bench. Michael Clemens got a little credit for the four years he's been coaching the defense. On third and five, Wilson throws a pass that was destined to fail because Jalen Jones blows up Chad Alexander out of the backfield. Game just 28 through the air. Moose Muhammad wearing a different jersey number is back there and he calls for a fair catch at the 20 yard line. Yeah, it's interesting because you know those guys sometimes you have to remind them just focus on what you're doing not how you're doing Spiller all kinds of green grass in front of him Combs pushes him out after an 11 make it a 16 yard gain Good Job right there on the left side everybody gets covered up. But I tell you what I like more than anything Spiller again, very similar play. Got tripped up by Joey Nobles. Had a great game in the backfield for the Lobos. Calzada, one on one ball, is caught by Devin Price, true freshman from right here at College Station. First down. So this perimeter to ignite the passing game at the wide receiver position. Freddie's found seven different receivers. Calzada steps up and gets sacked. Noble again. Four tackles in the game. He's been in the backfield for a couple quarterback hurries. Second and 15, and Calzada throws in front of Muhammad. About in the open of the show. Start on the Aggie offensive line. It's fathery. Ball start. Offense number 76. Five yard penalty. Still no down. Games for the Aggies. Calzada is in trouble again. Somehow weaves his way out of it. And that ball on the sideline is incomplete. Jostling around, and he's got control of it. Yard line correct. After video review, the ball was intercepted by the defensive player at the 49-yard line. He had firm control of the ball and put him down. Wilson, wide open receiver, but throws behind Andrew Erickson. Erickson, otherwise, easy opportunity to open up this possession. To the ground with Dumas, who's had some success, but not there. Edgerin Cooper, true front. Aggies show a delayed blitz on third and nine. It's a good ball that is complete inside the 40, down to the 39. Manny Logan. First play in Aggie territory today. And they get a procedure penalty right as. They Ball enter Aggie territory. Offense number five. Five yard penalty. Still first down. Final. Wow. In 
inside the 42 to the 41. Wilson throws a bubble. And Luke Wysong will get it down to the 37. It'll be third down from there. Third and ace, jailhouse blitz by Elko, and Wilson throws it into the Aggie stands. Trying to be as deceptive as ever. Offense number two, threw the ball into an area where there was no eligible receiver. Lost him down at the spot of the foul. Fourth down. Probably the right call there, too. Capable of capitalizing on the turnover. Rodriguez jumps up to catch that one. And Muhammad runs up to make the fair catch at the 10. Get him back. We saw only a little bit of Miles Jones defensively wearing number zero as well for the Aggies. Spiller, who they've been a bit cautious with today, gets six. Spiller again, second and four, first down, past the 20. Tough run. For 17th all-time in rushing, Spiller did with that last run. Now he's got his eyes on Javorski Lane. That would be next on the list. So he's up to the 35-yard line. Another first down. To be far more consistent with their rushing attack. Just gashing them play by play. Great run by Spiller, slow to get up. Great patience at the beginning of this run. Team Wait allows his blockers, Kenyon Green from the backside, weaving his way to the play side of that run. And he didn't jump in front of his puller. Back in the red zone, now it's a chain's turn. He's down to the 15. Saying him offense and the majority of the touchdowns a year ago. On second and seven. He's upended after only a couple at the bottom of your screen. Calzada in trouble, throws on the run, and it's caught. Weidemeyer first and goal. Delivered, regardless, able to get the conversion. Now Calzada drifts back, throws to Muhammad. passes for Myers Park Mustangs a couple of years ago and he came here with high hopes after Jack National there <laughs> no, no Blue Jack Tigers course in our future let's take you back underneath side of that football he must have some giant hands some sticky gloves down goes Wilson DeMarvin Leal with another sack it's on the other side of the ball Marvin Leal making plays. Dropped by Wysong. How much he enjoyed coaching him. Now Jimbo Fisher getting to coach his son. Alexander's got no running room. And the, again, the freshman, Edger and Cooper, comes in. You've seen number... That number, 86, he doesn't have much room to run. Calzada, hands to Spiller. He goes ahead to the 37-yard line. On a second and seven with A-chain to Calzada's right, throws to him. Breaks a bunch of tackles and gets ahead past the 40 it'll be third and short it is all Aggies that and is College Station because they could have beat Missouri going away if they protect the football better 
incredible crowd here today on hand to watch the Aggies roll over the Lobos as A-Chain makes the first down catch. There is a flag down. For A-Chain, there yeah. is no foul for an illegal block in the back. First down. All right, up, Benjamin. Spiller and A-Chain both in the game here, and Calzada throws it too quickly over to Demas, and Jimbo Fisher's back on the field again. Yeah, this time coaching up his receiver, and Demas, too deep. That ball was a good five yards upfield. Demas had a 70-yard touchdown for his first career catch. A-Chain gets gobbled up as Jarek Reed flies up there to make the tackle. He's three to All stars, offense number 85, five yard penalty, still third down. Now third and 15, have to get it inside the 35 to move the chains. Calzada, good ball to Weidermeyer, but he drops it. This has got a ribbon bit to convert for a new fresh set of downs. Constantino. Tried to angle that one to the sideline and Catch period for the Aggies. Defense has shut out the Lobos on the other side of the football. As Michael Clemens ran all over the field to make the tackle there, and Logan Green. Time to see what's going on in, in other games, just like we're doing, as Wilson runs out of bounds near a first down. That score. Just a yard for Cole. Speaking of wanted photo, wow! Shots up fired up by Mitch office. Hummer at Tom Schofield. Nice. Voice of trees. Luke Wysong uh, gets a couple. That's it. third and six. Wilson throws the bubble to Alexander, and he's never all day. None of these guys have been able to get past the initial pursuit by the Aggies. Edger and Cooper's look really good in the second half. Great job of short kick, and it goes past Muhammad out of break, out of bounds with 10:39. Fighting Texas Aggie band plays at halftime. Nobody, and I mean nobody, takes a bathroom break as the rain starts to fall, and they're still here. You know, Stitch, long ago, the program won national titles with Coach Dana Bible. Conference crowns with Bryant, Stallings, Cheryl, and Slocum. The style of play that a and was using. What they had a quarterback, Johnny Manziel, the perfect trigger man. Ernest crown over with the big question, can he do it this year and into the future? Third and eight, Calzada doesn't like what he sees and takes a sack. And Coach Fisher certainly isn't going to like that. More from Anaheim, California. Getting that sack. Constantino wants to Logan Green and watches it roll all the way inside his own 10. Michigan, that will be at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Terry Wilson has gone the whole way today, and this is picked off. Cooper off the carom, and he's at the 20-yard line. Well, we've called his name quite a bit today. First takeaway, though, for him, a guy that they've got really high hopes for in the defense from his linebacker spot, great pursuit. The ball just gets tipped up in the air. Look at Cooper right there, gift wrapped. Man. off to crown over tripped up in the backfield Lobos playing hard Matthias Bertram on the tackle but last week they thought maybe there would be opportunity underneath throw at the 20 yard line will set up a third and ten as Muhammad of eight weeks only one open week during that time Calzada takes the pressure and throws in front of Demas fourth down country with five touchdown oh, catches. Bad snap, and Caden Davis doesn't really have an opportunity 
to get a real chance at his first kick. Constantino couldn't field it. And New Mexico will get it back today. On the left of your screen just a second ago, as Dumas gets the carry, was the new head coach, Danny Gonzalez. To take this job, he insisted that Rocky come with him. As Dumas will be a yard shy of the first down. It was contention, it almost sounded like. Defensive coordinator again. School record 65 wins when he was the head coach of the Lobos. Now calling the plays on defense. Manny Logan Green gets the first down past the 30 yard line. I, um, let's just say a little animated with Danny hung up on him and said, when you're all the modern calls, you take the job. <laughs> Alyssa, I know that uh, you were listening, but he has certainly turned this program around. Second and four. Straight ahead to the 35. Let's see what's going on in Lexington, Peter. Defense, that's why they call that timeout so urgently. They're trying to preserve the shutout here. Weiss on, first down. They tried to beat them on October the 9th. Cole with some daylight past midfield. And the matchup you can fast forward to, but all eyes on next Saturday in Jerry's world and for obvious reasons. You think about last week, the takeaways from it, a near miss. I'm here for that Alabama game on October the 9th. Rocking. Open field tackle by Tyreek Chappelle on Bobby Cole. I keep that going if I'm him. Give him a lot more TV time. A kick away from number 86. And now Wayne Winkler will come back in just a moment and tell you that View and get his first career touchdown. Blake Boast in the quarterback, in, in a quarterback, the former walk-on. Hands it straight ahead to LJ Johnson Jr. Up to the 30-yard line. Boast of anything else happens, Eli. Stovers, who moved to tight end, would also serve as the third string quarterback. Kyle Field again. Boast with another handoff. This one going to Amari Daniels, another true freshman. This one from Miami, and that'll help run the clock out. A lot of question marks as far as who's healthy and who's not coming out of this contest. Daniels changing direction. Up to the 49-yard line. That burst. It's another handoff with Daniels going past midfield. Jimbo Fisher wins his 11th consecutive game. It's the longest streak for the Aggies since 1992. It's the first shutout for him in five years. He's got to be pleased. Defense played well, built on that second half performance versus Colorado a week ago. A couple of runs up the gut, otherwise a clean game. And there's plenty to coach for. And from this film offensively, this team's got to get healthy. We need to get healthy quickly, knowing they've got a West Division opponent coming up in Arkansas. Let's see what Jimbo has to say about it. He's with Alyssa. Coach, Zach Calzada with his first start. You guys get the win. How would you evaluate his performance? I think he played solid. I think our defense was outstanding. I thought Zach was solid in the game. Made a critical mistake over there he didn't need to make. Uh, but man, he's a game okay. Uh, we got to block better. At the end of the day, our defense is outstanding. Had uh, two major missed kickoffs. Had a bad snap. Uh, offensively, didn't block people very well. I uh, had some drops by key guys. Some young receivers come in and did a good job. Moose did a really good job. Happy with him. 28 and 6 are good players. Our young backs are good, but we got to play, but we got to become a better team. We're very average right now. What does it do for the confidence of this team pitching a shutout by your defense? Well, I think anytime you get a comp, those are hard, man. I don't care what you do to get zeros. That's an outstanding job for our defense in that respect. When you look ahead to next week, you got Arkansas. Early thoughts on that matchup? Oh, yeah. We're going to be a lot in that match. We're going to have to get a heck of a lot better this week and fix these issues. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Candid commentary from Jimbo Fisher after this performance today 34 nothing thanks to Tom Schofield Dennis Lanius Kevin Maloney Russ Moore our entire staff for Alyssa Lang and Matt Stinchcomb I'm Taylor Zarzer let's go back to our studios in Peter Burns